I just buy one set of strings from one brand and put it on. Translation, I don't know anything about tension of the strings. I will pause the description, check the first link, because that's a big secret that Paco told me. First, I have to reveal this now, because when he was alive, he didn't let me. He said, don't say it, people will think I'm crazy and that. But he was right. Tension of strings matters a lot. For instance, here I can show you how I harness using it from one wall. If I have 12 walls, here I harness one wall. Here, this is traditional way and traditional way to lessen the tension. And here on this second and third, and on the fifth as well, on the fourth I also have a mid-high tension string. By the way, this is all each string from one different brand. This one, Custodio gave me as a present, that's a, a Hanaba Golden. This one here is a Dr. Junger German string, the fifth. The fourth is a Dark Silver from Luthier Music Corporation, etc. So here we have a, a Dogal medium tension string. This is a extra high tension Adario, and so forth. Because of the angle we have, angle which creates uh, if, if you use one wall you will have less angle than if you if you I mean when you strung it up the traditional way as opposed to this when you use both walls for one string the string comes from below so it has much more of an angle and therefore that alters the tension so I could compensate this one is mid high tension, this is medium tension, this is mid high tension, right? Then mid tension, extra high tension, and middle tension. But mid tension between this and this, there is a gap that you have to uh, watch the video or the description to know why. But if you know how to harness the 12 walls and the tension stuff, and also by using different strings from different brands. I learned this from Paco de Lucia, and he was very smart to do it because actually every brand has one string which is better. Some brands have strings that do, do not tune well, etc. So this is important to stop being uh, an, uh, a beginner on this thing. Like if you know about tension, like for example, if you place your index on the second string and middle on the first string and feel the tension here, you will see a big gap in any brand of strings of the same tension, I mean. Despite what they calculate there with computer, whatever, but Paco said that and it's true. And if you feel it, place your index on the second and middle on the first and you will see. So the whole explanation is in the first link at the description of the video.